The season's scenes bring dreams of fresh starts. And coach Fudagoyama has quite literally been given a new lease of life. The former Miyabiyama felt unwell on March 28th, and even worse after attending the rankings chart meeting on March 29th. He was rushed to a hospital near his stable's Nishinomiya camp and diagnosed with septicemia. I was told by the doctor I'd have died if I'd left things another week, he has since informed the press. And I was like, wow, I could have gone just like that without saying goodbye to a soul. I was in hospital for 10 full days, lost around 24 kilos, and for the first time in my life found myself on meds to raise rather than lower my blood pressure, which had dropped to around 80. An obstructive build-up of kidney stones was to blame, and an upcoming operation will fix all that. I have, however, continued coaching my wrestlers from the hospital bed, studying their bouts on the practice ring video camera, and offering advice online. I've been given the gift of life, and I've got to use it, especially with new recruits to raise. Three of them have appeared in an Instagram post, we wish them and him all the best. A sumo health horror story with a happy ending for now. The senior wrestlers, I understand from a text I've received, have now returned to Tokyo ahead of the local legs of the April tour. On the way back, they presented in Okazaki City, Aichi, where March tournament pace setter Midori Fuji fielded questions. I want to challenge for the cup again in May, and at last achieve a Sanyaku rank," Midori began, recalling that he'd missed Komusubi last September by just a single win. On those five straight defeats after ten straight wins, he said, I could feel myself losing fire and focus once I dropped out of the title race, and was like, oh man, I'm still so mentally weak. Sentiments echoed by Tedono Fuji in his interview last week. But at least one fan can find no fault with Midori. Atami Fuji's younger sister, Hina Take, who competed in high school girls' nationals last weekend. Okazaki City also saw March Fighting Spirit Prize scooper Kin Bozan go 3-3 three and three in practice bouts before being deluged by fans. Five minutes of charging into Takayasu was really hard going, he said of a practice session warm down, most ungentle. That was very different to what I face in my stable for sure. I was kind of rushed by the fans afterwards. I'd practiced kanji autographs, but never that many in one go. He's been interviewed online by Kazakh media who extol his sumo progress but is keeping his stated ambitions at least modest for May. Let's first go for the winning score and stay injury free, is all he will say for now. That was Tuesday, April 4th. The following day took the tour to Inazawa, where Ho Shoryu went 7 and 4 versus Asanoyama and Co. He's strong on the belt and mega strong going forward were his words of praise for Asanoyama, who he fought for the second day running, even calling him out on occasion. Asked about rival Kiribayama, he replied, We are physically around the same size, and it was gutting to see him win the title on Sekiwake debut. I asked myself why I can't do it. I mean, I've got to get a cup for myself, right? Reaching Ozeki is another dream of mine, so now I must go for that, but it's not a race with Kiribayama. This one is all about me. His uncle was back in Japan last weekend to attend a photography exhibition, by the way. While I have no figures for Wednesday, Asanoyama went 6-4 in the session including Horshoryu on Tuesday. 
Back on the tour after 40 months, he was flooded with fan requests for autographs and photos. He finished that session with two minutes of charging into Tedono Fuji, who's had five months away from the tour himself and is truly itching to come back in May. Asanayama withdrew from the Fukui leg on Thursday, April the 6th, returning to Tokyo with a bout of fever, but testing negative for COVID. Takayasu also sat that leg out while complaining of eye and throat irritation. Both men are expected back on tour this week.